look at a problem now we, where we will be multiplying fractions and whole numbers together to give us an answer. So, Emily has six eggs and needs two thirds of those to make an omelet. How many does she need? Okay, well to do this we can actually draw out the six eggs. Two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now let's look over here for our denominator. Our denominator is three, so we wanna think about how we can split up these six eggs into three equal groups. If it can be done, this can make our problem very easy. And six divided by three is two, so it's actually going to make three groups of two. Now we need two out of those three groups. So when we do that, I'm just gonna use color here to illustrate. We have one, two, three, four. So how many eggs does she need? She needs one, two, three, four out of those six eggs to make an omelet. And that's kind of the visual of, of what we are doing when we're multiplying fractions by whole numbers. But sometimes we don't have that visual, so let's look at it in a more practical way. First problem here is 1 7 of 14. Now I want you to understand that the word of means multiply. So first thing I want to do is I have to make that whole number into a fraction. And to do that, we simply put it over 1. So 14 over 1 is the same as 14, because 14 divided by 1 is 14. Then when we do this, we have 1 7 times 14 over 1. Okay? Now we can multiply across. We do 1 times 14 and then 7 times 1. 1 times 14 is 14 and then 7 times 1 is 7. Now we're left with an improper fraction. So now we ask ourselves, how many times does 7 go into 14? The answer is 2 and there is nothing left over so our answer is simply 2. So 1 7 of 14 is 2. Let's look at one more problem here, 25 times 1 fifth. So again, right away I'm going to take that 25 and make it 25 over 1. 25 times 1 is 25, and 5 times 1 is 5. So now we're basically doing 25 divided by 5 because what we taught in the last lesson is that division and fractions are the same. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. And that is how you multiply fractions and whole numbers.